Alright, hello, hello. So, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use OBS. If you're wondering, what is, what, what's on your screen there? Well, it's actually quite simple. That's what's behind it. <laughs> An infinite loop and stuff, so I, so I put two images over it, basically. Yeah, just, just two random screenshots, nothing to do with videos for other channels or memes in general, like how my mom has got zero. You know, it's actually, it's actually really easy to do that. You know, like, it's actually really easy. Hold on. Let me just go to my emails <laughs> in F12. This is the bar you need to alter the code. Uh, keep in mind, it's not like hacking or anything. It only affects you. So I'm just gonna refresh because it's an old leaf paper. Anyways, um, so it only affects you if you do that. And, uh, yeah. So uh, first of all, was in speedrun. This is not something that goes. With it. But yeah, I got I got the speedrun, you know, and all this stuff. Anyways, I'm uh, back to main. So as you can see on this side, I have multiple different scenes. So as you can see, I'm gonna make scene three. And first things first, I'm just going to add a display capture and an image for now. Let's browse. Oh, that'll do. Okay. Right. There, don't question why it's right. It's just the first thing I saw. So then I made that a bit small. Okay. So you see, if you're adding an image, click on your image, and you'll see right here. This is the path to your image. So since it's important, it's probably not. This is a thing with this stuff. So if you want to go, if you click on an image, if let's say you want to do a green screen, and you want live stream or something, just go to filters. And then your filters hit the plus icon and a chroma key. Now in this situation, I'll have a green, so you can use blue, green, magenta, or your custom color if you're choosing. So I'm going to select the color, and you can pick a screen color, which is actually really helpful. So I chose white. It's a bit buggy. Um, hold on, let me let me try it again. Select. Hold up. Green. So I'm gonna select right there. Okay, select pick screen color about right. right around here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on today. Oh, that was explain it. Hold up. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna. I'm gonna do this. So you can see I have the stop recording button. So use that. Example. Pick screen color. And that specific shade of black. Now for some reason it's being a big buggy for me. I have no idea why also I should probably. So this eye icon is hiding it. <laughs> anyway, so you might be wondering what start shooting does. I'm just not going to click it for obvious reasons because I don't feel like going live right now. Oh yeah, by the way. Um, you see here, you can pause your recording. I'm going to do that now real quick. And now, I am pretty sure I'm going to pause. Yes, I have unpaused. You can tell because as you can see at the bottom of my screen, you see that red dot right there? Next to the OBS logo. That red dot means you're recording. And it will change to a yellow pause if you pause. So, if you click start virtual camera, that will allow you to do a few things. First of all, if you call someone with a video call, you can choose to share your screen with that. And you can also live stream on YouTube like that. So, if I go to create, go live. So, naturally, use webcam and it's right there. You see that? right behind the create stream logo also it's backwards that's just that's nothing to 
to do with all your viewing it. It's how it, it's just how it works. I don't know why. Just kind of is like that. So yeah. Anyways, studio mode. Yeah, this is for your transitions, quick transitions, all that stuff. So let's turn that off. Settings. It brings you to the settings menu, which that's not that's the easiest way you can find it. But you can also go to file and settings. That's how I always go to settings. And you can change this stuff like your theme, like you can have a gray. I actually kinda like gray now. Think about it. Anyway, so yeah, it's just gonna just visual stuff. And let's see. So videos, screen resolution, yeah, yeah, your, your hotkeys. So basically, you're in the game. Check the global hotkeys. It should be around the bottom, I think. No, I don't know. It's probably in general. I don't know. I can't be bothered right now. Even though this is a OBS tutorial, so I might as well. See somewhere in here there would be something about check local hotkeys, but yeah, the, the just settings, you know, like. But I want to add this stream, so I would recommend the recommended. Unless you have VPN on, anyways. Um, Twitch chat add-ons. I don't know what those are, but I'm gonna add them. So basically, you can choose Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, oh no, Restream.io, Twitter, and more, or custom. So those are just some settings you can use. So once you have it set up, yes, just click Start Streaming, and uh, you'll be live streaming on Twitch. Now you can add something like a window capture and have it be your chat. You see? Now mine is green screened because that's how I like my chat to show up. But if you're not, if you don't really feel like doing all this work for the streaming. What I would recommend doing instead then is going and downloading the Twitch Studio app, as you can see right here. So Twitch Studio recommendation, yes. Anyway, so you, you can see up here all this audio stuff. The mic slash aux, this one is from my USB because I record off my Switch sometimes. Desktop audio. Um, you see if I click this on, and add to, to something I made, this is one of my songs I have on YouTube, you saw me so there, oh, I guess I got rid of it, did I also get rid of Gregory you need to pen, I got rid of Gregory you need to pen, that sucks, oh, never mind, but, um, so, yeah, just go to your playlist, or whatever, like YouTube, whatever you game, just go to that, and click play, obviously I want to do that for copyright reasons, so yeah, anyways, uh, you might be wondering, well then, what's next for all this? So as I've already mentioned, plus is to add stuff here. So if I click on the image and I click down, then it goes down. That's pretty simple. Um, you, you can go here to change your audios. Properties is where you like to go. Device. You can change it to my headphones, speakers. So... The mic I personally use is a Dreamland mic. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I use a Dreamland V1. You can order yours off of Amazon. Obviously, there'll be no link in the description because it's 
Amazon. But yeah, also, you can go to File. Sorry, not File. Uh, view, or you can just, you know, F11. And now you're full screened. And it does stuff like that a lot. Anyways. That's what we wanted to look. So, View. That was for this. Sorry, I didn't realize my face was on there. That's something uh, a bit weird. So, you know, you got all this, you know. Yeah, this is just for my stream. I don't know why I don't fix that. I really should. So, yeah. Just need to get out of that. And I should probably explain. So. Oops, that video capture device. So sometimes your video capture device won't work. Don't worry, just make another one. So I'm gonna go here. Video capture device. You can also do it for like Nintendo Switch and stuff. So yeah, here's my face. You know. So I'm just gonna put me over to the side. So. As you can see, right here, like I'm just, I'm just here. So now you should basically be a professional, but you might have some questions on OBS. Like, what's the learning arc like? It's tutorial basically gives you everything you should need to know, like what the filters are. So, there, filters. You know, like effects and audio filters. But yeah. So, there is another thing. I don't know exactly where it's at. But there is one other thing. So, if I go to file. Should be somewhere here. Here, no. Tools, maybe. I want jet captions. Hello? Does this even work? I'm not sure if it even works. So can I just add uh, over here? Yeah, I don't know exactly what that was. Thank you. Um, anyways. Back on topic. So it's like, it's just somewhere I don't exactly know where. Steam collection tools help. I don't know. Like, maybe you're supposed to find it here. I don't really know, personally. But there should be an option so you can simply go and enable yourself to listen to you through a pair of headphones, which I have right here. I use a headset, although I don't really use a headset for streaming on my PS4. Anyways, yeah, it's just a quick, concise tutorial. So, as you can see, like, it's capturing this right now. It'll just capture whatever you tell it to capture. It's really not that hard. This is my Twitch page. Video games like Saints and Nines. This is my username on YouTube. So yeah, thank you 
for watching this uh, little tutorial. I hope it has helped you. And here's one last thing. So, see this? Let me make it five. You know, ten thousand milliseconds. You see, it's sliding. That's the whole point of it. It's supposed to slide. No, no, don't leave me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's really it. But I'm probably gonna make this like zero. I don't know, I'm thinking a hundred was hundred with like. Maybe 500. Yes, yeah, so I would recommend 500. And you can also change, like, is it a fade? Is it a stinger? Which is basically nothing. Is it a cut? Which is also basically nothing. Swipe, which is a slide, but. Let's like see when it's horizontal. So yeah. Those are all of them. Thank you. And I hope you have a good day.